Everybody, what we're reviewing today is this ice cream maker, um, sorbet, and frozen yogurt maker. So, in the mix of it. So, this is almost a little under two feet in distance and about um, one to one and a half um, in depth. Um, it's about 24 pounds or so. Uh, let's, it's got a fan on this side, fans on this side, fans all around because it does get a little, I'm quite sure because it's a freezing unit in here. Um, in, in this side of it. So super simple to use. Um, as you can see, it's actually going right now. So this top twist off. Um, if you wanted to add things in the middle, you could add, lift this up. Um, you unscrew this and your little um, mixer actually just comes up because it adheres to the bottom of it. And then your pail um, actually just pulls up. So there's a little, if you can see the little handle in there, lift the handle up and just pull it out. So for here, you've got three different modes. You have an ice cream mode, a cooling mode, and a mixing mode. So if you wanted strictly to do a cooling only, so you already made it and you just needed to cool and froze it, or froze it, uh, or I'm sorry, freeze it. Uh, let's say it was sitting out or what have you, and you just wanted to get it back um, cold in a short amount of time, you could just do cooling mode. If you just wanted to mix it and you wanted to freeze it someplace else, you could do it in mixing mode, or you could do it in ice cream mode. Right now, we're in ice cream mode from me which takes 60 minutes in total. So you've got your start, your pause, this is your menu. You click this to go to each different one, and this is your power, and if you needed to add time or subtract time, this is how you do it as well. So right now, what we're making here is a strawberry banana um, ice cream. So this one is just a combination of almond, I, I used almond milk um, instead of regular milk, heavy cream, um, I did half and half of heavy cream and, and almond milk, and sugar, bananas, and strawberries. So we're almost halfway there uh, as far as what it's going to be. I write at this point, I do believe this is 2.1 pints. Um, um, I do believe it's 2.1 pints. Um, it could be 2.1 quarts. I can't remember which one it was. So it's one of the two. It might be 2.1 quarts. But at this point, I can say it's pretty easy to use. It, it looks like it's curing it and, and mixing in it pretty well, um, but we'll see in a little bit. I am taking pictures um, of the end result so you can kind of see what it looks like too when it gets done, but we've got another 37 minutes to go before it's done. So um, hold tight and I will get some pictures together for you guys when it's all said and done.